up everyone and either welcome to my channel or back to my channel holy sweet baby jesus today is saturday the day that i this is what always happens the day that i actually had planned to work on new items which is not completely done yet because i'm pretty sure it's like three o'clock right now almost three o'clock anyways yeah um, I just spent like the last two and a half hours on the phone with Verizon. They were so Wednesday. They, I called Wednesday, ordered myself a new phone, got a new phone. It's over there charging right now, which I've been using it. Um, works great. Order number, everything, perfectly fine. I also ordered an iPad for Jake because Jake hasn't had an iPad since... 2013 that was 10 years ago so he gave his ipad i had my old ipad mini 4 i gave that to gage well Averly keeps trying to steal gauges because she likes to play the balloon game where like they tap and learn the shapes and everything else like that um yeah so we gave Averlyn his old and don't come for me for my parenting skills right now because i am just like not in the mood but anyways it's a good learning thing Gage actually was not talking for the longest time um, until I actually started introducing the iPad and different things on the TV and working with him more, of course, because I do work with my, my children and, you know, but um, yeah, anyways, so we gave Erlen the iPad mini and then he, Gage, got the old iPad because if they break, they break, it's fine, you know, whatever. Um, so I was like, all right, well, Jake's uh, been doing woodworking and he has like drafting things and stuff like that. And I was like, all right, well, let's get you a new iPad. The iPad never showed up. They completely lost my order. They said it didn't exist, but yet my card was charged, pending charge. Uh, my Verizon up points were pending. And I actually had the um, trade-in thing on the one I'm trading in to get the iPad. So anyways, yeah, I um, I spent like three hours on the phone for Verizon. So a lot of stuff didn't get done, but I did wash my hair today and get cleaned up. And now we're going to get shit done because I need to get the basement rearranged to actually do the new items. And if I'm going to do these new items, I'm going to do them tomorrow. If I'm talking really fast, I do apologize. It's probably my anxiety and me being partially Italian. And it's just like, it, it's, I was like comfort food after getting off the of phone Verizon. I had nachos and cheese. And I'm going to tell you right now, I just tried to put, because once I open the cheese, like I have to have it in the fridge. I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do, but that's me. Open the cheese. I was dipping the cheese. I put it up in the freaking cabinet, but I got it out of the like, fridge. It, it's just been... It's been a day. But anyways, so you guys, this is probably going to be a long one. I'm going to warn you now. Um, you guys are going to come on a little journey with us. And setting up the... No new items today, but setting up the basement. And... Jake's gonna be setting up the garage. Probably not gonna get the garage clean, but we're definitely gonna get the basement set up and we're gonna do this. So, come on the journey with us. I'm gonna get out of this chair and I'm going to be done anxiety ridden and hopefully we get stuff done. So, Turtle D's trying to climb up on my lap right now. I cannot show her because she just didn't have a little nappy nap. So, she gotta get some clothes on. And then she keeps trying to rip this thing off. But she keeps trying to sit on the body, so, I mean, but. All right, well, come hang out with us, me and Jake, and the kiddos, and see what we're getting into today. Happy Saturday, everyone, and let's do it. All right, what's up, everyone? So, I got everything positioned. It's not completely super clean, but I got a mop again, of course, because it's the basement and we walk around in and out from the garage. But I wanted to give you guys a little um, 
craft room tour and go over this stuff so you guys can actually see all of my mess down here. So, all right, so I do get a little bit more organizing and dusting to do, but in this container, I have beads and rhinestones, my hot tools, more rhinestones, more rhinestones. These are actually those rhinestones that are for um, that uh, rhinestone art stuff, but they were super cheap up at Hobby Lobby, as you can see, 49 cents. So I signed up on those. These are actually sticky lash pads. They work great for stuff. These are actually glue dots. There's more rhinestones in here. These are all beads. All beads and flat backs, embellishments, um, jewelry, findings, all of that. Have a whole thing of sequins and more jewelry findings and beads. <sighs> more sequins and seed beads along with other beads. Some gold flake stuff in here. Um, these are actually keychain clips. And this was a fan and more jewelry findings, more glue things for whenever I'm gluing stuff. Actually, if you don't, if you lay the glue down or if you don't put the glue on the thing, but you need just like a little bit at a time, I always use those glue rings. Used to, but um, more beads over here. This is kind of like a mess area right now. So I got some random yarn that's like my yarns little stuff that I need to actually put together I'll probably make like a scrap blanket out of it stuffing stuffing my beaning loom um, small tripod my iron and my Cricut iron these are gonna be all of my crochet patterns I have some ribbon random ribbon down here this is all of my inventory I even have like bows and stuff there there is my toaster for to make my freshies. Ugh. Here are all my sewing books and just different books for even like beading. Up there is all of my canvases. And then we go over to here, more random ribbon. And these are all of my mugs. So those are all my mugs. I have some boxes down here and um, mason jar. And then this is actually just a whole giant mess. The kids were down here yesterday. So that is where like the laundry is, but there is so much laundry in there right now. It is just, and then we have everything out from underneath the steps because we were put the railing up. It's a mess, so I don't want the kids in there. So anyways, that's uh There's actually a bathroom back in there too, which is nice. I have one of my cross stitch machines down here. Let's sit on my chair. This is just, all my patterns. I have a set of, um, these are those things for the masks. I did have my glasses in there. I don't know where those went, but, oh, oh here they are. Magnifying glasses with a nice little light on it. If I can get it to even work right now, one-handed. But, so if I'm doing something, and more patterns. If you guys want to see all of my patterns, let me know. It's crochet patterns. I have more <laughs> patterns down in here. This is a container of like embellishments. The, this container for like cover. I think that was my grandma's. Um, some of like the hoops and cross stitch stuff and different things I can even use for beading. Then I have my easel. <laughs> Excuse me. I have all of my yarn in these bins. Mostly all of my yarn. There's actually more yarn back behind those doors. But in here, I have some tumblers I'm working on, which of course I had to stop. Is all of my like glue dots, my tumbler stuff. There's glitter in there. And then in here, ah, same thing. All stuff for tumblers. And and here is where I actually have to reset up like my tumbler turners and my respirator mask, um, my cutter, different things in there. So that is all my tumbler stuff, which also too, I got these molds because I was going to do something with them. But you know what? I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I really don't. I have some transfer tape. Let's see here. Actually, up here, too, is where all my straws are. And that is actually vinyl. Um, over here. Uh, I got to actually get, like, more hooks on the wall to hook up some of these patterns. Um, this is all of my freshy stuff. Freshy stuff. Some spray paint and some wooden circles. Different things. There's my, um, what the hell is it called? Do, do, do. Alcohol back there. I have some beeswax back there. Vegetable glycerin. Some paint in here. Lots of random things. There's gloves. There's little containers. This has all been like accumulated over the year too. Because I was going to use these for like little paints and stuff. Um, and have just like little things whenever I did like lots of little detailed embellishment stuff. These are the needle bottles so like I even have these like little bows in here I have a ton of stamps and a vinyl pen as I said everything down here is so random but um my freshies that I need to actually start getting those sublimated and sticker paper and random stuff lots of random stuff patterns books all kinds of stuff this whole entire thing is I have an obsession a major obsession I did it the wrong way I have a major obsession with buttons I collect buttons and like old stuff that my grandma gave me like it just makes me happy <laughs> just random stuff I found in her things it's so cool, but yeah, I have an obsession with buttons. So every time, like, I go to the antique store, like, look how old that is. Um, every time I go to like the antique store, and if they have a good deal on like a container of like a mason jar of buttons, I have to get it, and then it goes in here. And this thing probably weighs, I'd say, about sixty pounds. But, um. I forget what I have in here. Yarn. This is my suede, which is actually going to have to be going up back upstairs. This is all of my leather tools. And I think my Dremels. All my stuff that I was trying to keep away from my kids. Like, especially Averlyn, because these are all of my leather tools. So there's this. Do not mind this desk. I need to wipe it off because I actually was going to get rid of it and then I kept it. Oh, down here is just a lot of random string and embroidery floss and more buttons and stuff like that. That is serger parts. This is full of lace, lace, and those are full of like different patches. Those are stencils. That is poems I wrote in like freaking um, high school. And I have over here, which on this desk, like I said, it's dusty. My mug press, my vinyl cutter, which I have stuff hidden in here right now until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. Sewing machine parts, um, scrunchy inventory right there, cash box for if I ever do do a vendor thing. Well, when I did do a vendor things, I have my blind stitch machine and my post machine. And that is everything I have down here, guys. That is, oh, the kids were playing with that. So over in this corner is going to be all the kids' toys that are seasonal. So we can actually start clearing out the garage. But yeah, that that is it, guys. Oh, and more spray paint up there. And those are my patterns. So hope you enjoyed my quick little basement tour basement craft room tour i still haven't painted that wall but you know all right guys i'm gonna try to film another video today since i am going to be working on stuff and i will see you later on in a different video bye